world government, they see it as the beginning. For the evolutionists, they see this as the beginning of a new age. For those in this world who desire financial benefit, they see this as the beginning. But transhumanism, as we read here from Revelation 13, we are going to see that transhumanism is actually the mark for us, the church, to denote the end. As soon as we see it, we go, come Lord Jesus. We look up, we say we're coming to the end. Let's labor for one last hour because it's all over. But the world out there, political, social, military, economic, they all think they are about to embark on their greatest hour. What a shock they are in for. Reading from Revelation chapter 13, verse 14, and it says, Concerning the false prophet, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the beast. And the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell Save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of the name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Here tonight, I want to deal with transhumanism. Because I believe here in Revelation 13, making an image of a political leader, I mean the foremost political leader who gains power and they have the technology. This is a prophecy 2000 years ago. They have the technology to make an image of that man and that image they have the ability to give it life or the breath of life or consciousness. And that actual image has the ability that if you don't take the mark to give the command or to bring about your death, can you imagine that? That image that's going to stand in Jerusalem has the power that if any individual, in other words, it's no king, no general, not the ten world leaders who command the death. It is no person saying, you die if you don't take the mark. It's not. The command is given by an image of a political leader. I mean an image that can live, it can speak, it can give commands, and it's orchestrating worldwide, it gives the command. If anyone does not join this economical system, this political, this religious system, they must die. Do you realize we are right there, right now? We are approaching this hour where now all the world banks, the central bank, the IMF, the UN, the EU, all of our world governments are now preparing to go onto a digital system. And they're talking openly about putting chips in the hand, in the, in the brain, and doing, bringing about. This is the very hour. We have never been here before. We have never been here. The world governments are going, this is our hour. We are going to grab the mind of this generation. We have accomplished something politically. The evolutionists think this is going to be their greatest hour. But do you realize what's an indicator to them? It indicates something very different to you and I. You see, when I see this come up so clearly and I go, this is it. The 2020s are going to be marked by transhumanism. It is sending a message to everyone. But what does it mean to you that have gone on over the past hundred years that has prepared this generation for ultimate deception. And we, the church, need to break up and destroy these four lies. The first one is evolution. You see, evolution is the backbone to transhumanism. If you wouldn't have had evolution in the schools over the past 150 years, you could never introduce transhumanism in the 2020s. 
What is transhumanism? It is joining man, biology, brain to the computer, to the internet. They're about to do it. Do you realize now that in these months, the Canadian government are putting out documents? The British government are. We know the World Economic Forum has promoted this for many years. We realize it's all conversion, and this is now the hour. But do you know what their greatest instrument to bring this about is a belief in evolution. Before Hitler could rise in Germany, before he could sell his eugenics, the killing of gypsies, the handicap, the abortion of babies, the destruction of Jews, before he could introduce this, he needed a generation that was saturated by evolution. Only when a man believes in evolution, that we come from monkeys, apes, animals, that we are nothing else than a bundle of thoughts and biology, when you truly believe that, you have been prepped, deceived, and prepared for transhumanism and the mark of the beast. Do you realize an entire generation that have been deceived by evolution, told that they evolved by their teachers, the universities, the wildlife programs on television, their brain has been saturated with this. And I believe this is the first and greatest lie that has brought this generation to transhumanism. If they rejected evolution, they would reject transhumanism. But if you believe evolution, you are going to swallow the lie of transhumanism. You're gonna think it is the next stage or step of evolution is gonna be transhumanism. And so we see that evolution, because it has saturated our society, people are now prepared to join themselves to a computer, taking their mobile chip and saying, Oh great, we'll implant it. It will be a part of us. It will be within our body. They are, they're being totally prepared within the next five years to accept this ideology. Saints, I hope you realize that transhumanism is a wake up call to the church. We ought to be saying, come Lord Jesus. We ought to be preparing ourselves in holiness. If ever there's a time for you to wake up, trim your lamp, Make sure your fire is burning. It is actually now. You, you don't have years or decades to play with. We as a church must do now what we are gonna do. And you know what we need to tell this generation? You're created in the image of God. When you get born again, you come back into God's plan. Through a new birth, a new creature is created and you come smack into the center of God's will for you. It says in Proverbs 23 and 7, concerning a man, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. If you make a man think, now think about this, evolution. If you find someone who really believes us, they believe we evolved. They believe the textbooks of evolution. They actually believe in the Big Bang. They believe we're all accidents. Do you realize as a man thinketh, so is he. Don't tell me that doesn't affect. We have so much come forth in our world because people say we're nothing more than animals. You are an awful lot more than an animal, I assure you. You are a created being in the image of God to commune with God and to live your life for Him. When you realize that you're created by God supernaturally, 6,000 years ago, God created one man, one woman, you say, you still believe that? Yes. And guess what? All the experts and scientists of DNA, they only discovered since the year 2000. Whenever they learned the art of DNA, they said, guess what? We all in the world, Asian, African, even Irish, guess what? We all go back to one man. We all go back to the same woman. Isn't that shocking that it's taken all of this time for these evolutionists, but they said, no, no, don't get any wrong ideas like the Bible is true, or those Christians over there have it right. We don't want you to think that. Even though we all come, doesn't matter the color, doesn't matter the language, doesn't matter the culture, we all come from the same man or woman. All of us, as the Bible said, we don't want you to believe that Bible. 
No, no at all. It doesn't matter that we said we evolved from apes. We don't want you to believe that. And yet their entire thinking, their academia, their science is built on deception. Their greatest spokesmen, their greatest missing links are a deception. This eugenics about men coming from animals and beginning to play with the DNA of men. Guess who picked it up? Hitler in Germany. He raised up a whole generation of chemists, biologists, scientists who were indoctrinated by evolution and they began to destroy an entire generation. Also, Stalin in Russia took this on. And in China, the communist government, they also were affected by this. Now, what is the result in our generation? An entire generation aborting their babies. Now we've got a generation that are being taught in our schools, being brainwashed at a young age, that you could be a boy, a girl, or something else if you so desire. And you can change your mind next week. We have a generation where transgender is promoted, while those who are normal and clear things and saying are being persecuted and now the last bit of the jigsaw to go in is euthanasia do you realize this ideology the fruit of evolution has destroyed the mind of a generation and this is our message tonight transhumanism is an attack on the mind evolution has destroyed the thinking what do you think you are if you imbibe evolution this makes you into something. You'll accept a lot of things. But if you believe you're created in the image of God, that there's a heaven, a hell, a God in heaven, it affects your life. Evolution is the backbone to transhumanism. It's vital. Take away evolution. You don't have transhumanism. It destroys it. But do you realize all the men who believe in transhumanism began with evolution?